Hi everyone, it's Doodlebug Stitcher. Welcome to my channel. Today is Sunday, the 23rd of December. We have about 36 hours until Christmas. I hope y'all are ready. Um, I just wanted to pop on here real briefly, talk about my week this past week, um, show you um, some stitchy gifts that I've already received, and um, I was asked to do uh, what I plan to do for 2019 um, so I thought I would do that now rather than um, my video next week because next week I'll do um, my what I got for Christmas um, video and talk about my resolutions so um, this week was really really busy um, you can probably hear it I'm still sick um, so I've been sick as you well know since uh, just after Thanksgiving or excuse me just after Halloween and I just haven't been getting any better. And so in doing, you know, since I do have um, medical issues with um, my cancer diagnosis and treatment last year, well, 2016 until earlier this year, um, I um, did some more digging. And so when you go through chemo and radiation, um, your body goes through basically hell um, and the recovery time while it's different for everybody um, your immune system doesn't fully recover um, it can take up to two years um, for your um, once your treatment ends for your um, your metabolism and your immune system to all re kind of recalculate themselves and kind of rework back into a normal rhythm. So um, we're thinking that that's what's kind of the underlying reason why I'm not getting better is because my body is not able to kind of bounce back and, um, and get better on its own. I have an appointment after the first of the year, so I'm gonna hope that they can get me some meds um, that can help, help to knock this out. Um, fingers crossed. Um, so in the meantime, I'm still um, coughing a lot. I'm taking DayQuil um, during the day and NyQuil at night. And the problem is, is that every time I cough, you know, the drainage gets in my throat, I want to cough and then I have the pain. So um, I really think that I've torn a lot of abdominal wall muscles um, just because of the coughing. And um, I just I'm not being able to heal to get well so that that heals because um, it's constantly being aggravated but anyway if it wouldn't be Christmas if I wasn't sick so there you go uh, this week was really busy um, I finished up um, work well I worked all week and in between I had um, events at school and uh, I had um, you know, finishing up with Christmas shopping and all of that. So that was really, really busy. Um, McKenna had her Christmas concert on Tuesday. If you follow me on Facebook, you probably saw pictures and video from that. Um, so if you haven't watched it yet, go watch. It was really, really cute. Um, we had a really good time. And then on Wednesday, we did our annual um, family tradition of riding the rails on the Wilmington and Western Railroad to do the um, Holiday Express train. And it's all lights and decorations and the people that live along the train route um, decorate um, their properties so that people on the train can see it. It's really nice. And then we all went to dinner afterwards. And then Thursday during the day, I went to school um, right at the end of the school day to watch, or I'm sorry, to read as the class's mystery reader for this week um, and I went in and read a holiday book um, called Red and Lulu um, which is about two cardinals and their adventures in New York City with the Rockefeller Christmas tree and the kids really enjoyed it and I gave them all candy canes for being such good listeners um, and being very attentive during the reading um, and so we did that and then on Saturday yesterday I had stitchy brunch excuse me with one of my dear dear local stitchy friends um, Lisa Blanco you've heard me talk about her before she's a blue hen stitcher on Instagram hi Lisa kisses 
Um, so we got together for brunch at a local restaurant. It was delicious. We had breakfast and we had mimosas and we exchanged stitchy gifts and I'm going to show you that in just a bit. And so um, that was a lot of fun and then I ran errands yesterday and got stressed out about Amazon deliveries and items. I had gotten some items delivered yesterday and a couple of them were damaged and so we had to scramble to get them replaced and I'm supposed to get them tomorrow. Um, fingers crossed. So other than that, I have everything done. Everything is wrapped. Um, I had to go back out this morning because I forgot a couple of things. If you're a member of Stitcher's Coven Facebook group, go look for my post. I talked about it. It was very, very comical. Um, the, the back and forth that happened this morning and then my subsequent, subsequent trip out. So I am now home. I'm not planning to go out again until I might have to go out, but not for something Christmas. I might have to go to the store and pick something up, but or the grocery store and pick something up and, um, and make a return. But other than that, I'm done for Christmas. Christmas is done. I do have to cook, um, prep the deviled eggs um, because that's my contribution for Christmas Eve dinner. I'm known in the family for my deviled eggs, so I get asked to bring them to every holiday gathering. So I have that to do. And other than that, my butt is going to be sitting in a chair stitching. What am I going to be stitching, you ask? I am going to be stitching more on, I'm hopefully going to get close to finishing up January on Heart and Hand Year of Celebrations. And I was only able to get a few stitches in during the week this week. Oh. Show the chart, Donna. Yeah, that makes sense. So um, that's where I'm at. I'm working on the word January right now. And so my goal is to work on this as much as I can tonight and possibly finish it tomorrow. Um, originally, I was going to, my new start, uh, my Christmas start, because I'm going to be working on a new project during Christmas week. So this is the week between Christmas and New Year's. Um, originally I was going to start that on Christmas Eve. It depends on how far I get on January because um, January might roll over into tomorrow. Um, and then Christmas Day I will start Blackbird Designs um, Winter Delivery. So this will be what I work on all next week um, between Christmas and New Year's. We are we go out for Christmas Eve, we go to my cousin's house. She um, hosts um, the family holiday gathering at her house and everybody comes and does gift exchange with the family and everything and there's food and beverage, you know, you know, nice wines and things like that. So we go there on Christmas Eve, we'll come home. McKenna will get to stay up. I think we'll, we'll plan to be home at the latest by 10 o'clock. And then McKenna goes to sleep, and then sometime during the night, Santa comes. And so the hope is, is that McKenna lets us sleep at least until 7.30. I'm doubting that because I know how the dog is, and the dog's schedule, normally she's uh, used to going out between quarter after 6 and 6.30. So if I can get the dog to be quiet and go out, then, then I'm gonna get back in bed and try to sleep until 7.30. Did you hear me, McKenna? She's in the other room. McKenna, mm -hmm. did you hear me? Yeah. 7.30, Christmas morning, okay? Hopefully that works. Did, oh, oh sorry. Did you talk to Mia? I couldn't. What do you mean? She mm -hmm. didn't answer? No, you told, I couldn't find her on the phone. What do you mean you couldn't find it on the phone? Bring me the phone. Sorry, we're having... Don't you have her number programmed in your phone? I thought you programmed her number in your phone. I specifically remember that. I did. Okay, so why did you want to use it on this? She wants to use the house phone. That was the whole point of programming it in your cell phone. Oh. Hello? Is this Mia? Hi, we were just talking about you. Okay. Okay.
Okay. Well, can you play tomorrow? Okay. Because McKenna has a gift for you. And so um, if you um, if you guys want to play tomorrow um, in the early afternoon, um, then um, she can give you your gift. Okay? Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Tomorrow is fine, sweetie. Okay? All right. We will see you tomorrow. All righty. Bye-bye. Okay, she can't play today because they're doing stuff and then they're going to their, her grandmother's today. But she will see you tomorrow. What, what do you mean by a gift? We have a gift to give to Mia for Christmas. Okay? All right. Mommy took care of that. All right? Just like you have gifts for Alex and for Aveline. I know you don't know what, because mommy is, it, mommy is the best mommy in the world and she took care of all of that. Okay, can you come get this phone? What do you say? Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so back, anyway. So the plan is on Christmas morning, um, I'll cook breakfast after we do presents and then we're having like, nibbly stuff like appetizers and things like that here because we don't go anywhere on Christmas Day. Um, I don't think it's, my husband and I don't think it's fair that McKenna gets toys from Santa and then she has to leave and can't be home playing with her stuff. So we kind of, we set the bar at we stay home on Christmas Day. Other than going around the corner at lunch, just before lunch to see my mom and to do presents there, um, we will be here in the house and then tomorrow evening we'll have lasagna for dinner I already have that prepped and ready to go. So it just has to go in the oven um, So my plan to, on Christmas Day is to start Winter delivery and I have all of my stuff. Can you not hop around because I'm filming? Do you think I'm talking to myself? Okay Sometimes I wonder about this child. She think, must think I'm crazy or something so I have that ready to go and I've made two changes on the chart um, for they called for flosses um, instead of the dried thyme from Gentle Arts I decided to do silken colors in olive branch and then for the black um, the chart is for DMC 310 and I am doing it in wrought iron um, Gentle Arts and then I also have my button my beads. Did I really just call these buttons? Lord help me. So that will be the Christmas to New Year's um, project. And then I mentioned before that I was going to talk about what my plans were for 2019. So the first thing I wanted to do is show you I'm part of a sal going on. Um, it's called the um, Halloween Quaker Sal 2019 on Facebook. If you would like to join the group, um, just search that title and request to join. And that is by Lila Studio. You can see I have all my called for flosses. Um, I did, did I switch anything out? The only one that I'm switching out is the, um, the white. So the chart calls for, um, Bamboo from Classic Color Works, and I'm going to use um, Winter White from Victorian Motto, which, and then I'm stitching it on this, which is 36 Count Alchemy from Picture This Plus. So that starts January 1st, and I'm really, really excited about it. I love all these motifs. I'm just dying. And then Lila, um, the designer, um, has two optional um, it's there's two optional I'm trying to find where it is oh it's over here I'm like where is it um, so this right here is spiders and so she has designed two optional motifs one is pumpkins and one is ghosts um, to replace the spiders I'm not a big spider fan, so I'm probably going to pick one of the optional motifs and 
substitute that one, but all the other motifs are super, super cute. Here, let me take it out of the bag because there's an extreme glare. And I hate other, um, I hate it when there's glare when you're watching ball soup, so that's much better. Look at that. So there's clay here, there's um, skeletons and black cats, and look at this cute owl. And there's a raven. I talked about ravens in my last video. And then these witchy, look at the witch's feet with the stockings. Could you die? And a pumpkin and more black cats and haunted houses, more ravens. Just too, too cute. Bats. So everything here is good except for these spiders. Not really that fan of that. So that'll get switched out. So I'm super excited to start that on January 1st. Um, so that will be, I'm gonna start that while I recover from any potential uh, wine hangover from New Year's Eve. Um, Cause we'll probably get um, some champagne and some wine. And our tradition on New Year's Eve is we get um, Chinese food from the same restaurant. Jeff and I have been doing that since our first um, holiday season together we get it from the same restaurant in New Jersey and we even trek to um, he works that day since it falls on a Monday so what I'm gonna do perfect timing is I'm gonna order the food and then have him bring it home on his way home and that way we don't have to make a, se a separate trip um, to get it um, so we'll have our traditional Chinese food and then we will relax and last year McKenna fell asleep before the ball dropped I think I fell asleep before the ball dropped. So I'm gonna really keep my fingers crossed to make it through. And then um, New Year's Day, it's always a tradition to watch uh, the Tournament of Roses parade. And now that we have the big TV, we are gonna be watching it on the big TV. So I'm super excited about that. Um, so in addition to Quaker, uh, Halloween Quaker for 2019, I also will be, um, at some point during the year, I will be starting my Raise the Roof. Um, I talked about them in my last video. Um, so the first one that I will start working on is, um, these are the Raise the Roof Laundry series. So the first one I'll be working on will be um, Love Laundry, which is um, for Valentine's Day. And the model, and again, I should have taken it out of the package. <coughs> Ow. This is what I do. I cough and, and wince. It's constant. I kept myself up all night last night, so I'm really surprised I'm coherent right now. So that's Love Laundry. Oh, there we go. And so the called for fabric is by Lakeside Linens. It's cotton candy vintage. I'm not even sure if they make this fabric anymore, so I'm gonna have to do some research. Um, but I do have a backup fabric in my stash um, to use in case. Um, a just in case fabric um, that I thought would work well on it too. It's a little darker, but I think it will still work well. And if I have to tweak the flosses, I will. Because I can. Hashtag no rules. So that's planned, and then throughout the year, I'm planning as I finish other, as I finish the laundry, then to go on to the next one. Um, and then I'm also planning, I have to get this one started, um, I would say no later than March, because this is a teacher's gift for the end of the year. I was lucky enough to find this um, through de-stashing. Um, this is by Heart and Hand. This is Teacher's Desk. And I want to stitch that for her end of the year teacher gift. And it comes with the fabric and the button. Um, so that'll be fun to stitch. I also want to start Oz by Quaker Fantasies. Um, there are several of you out there who are planning to, who have already started this have finished it or plan to do it in 2019. Um, Cheryl McKinney, um, Tranquil Stitches, um, turned me on to it and I am trying to plot out the use of the new Etoile threads from DMC. So I have a conversion um, in the process right now on that. 
and then I did um, earlier in the year I decided that I was gonna stip, um, stitch stip talk much Donna I was gonna stitch this flip it series from Lizzie Kate um, this was the four seasons and so I originally had bought the uh, the fall and then I had to get the rest of them so I have them all and they come with the buttons so this is spring which I like it's really pretty I love the colors in this this one I might change out the colors on because I'm not really a fan of pink houses um, I'm thinking I might do a blue some blues I don't know this is gonna be a, a stay tuned and then the autumn which I showed you which I love because I love those I love the leaves at the bottom and I love that that owl and then this one is my favorite of the series this is December because hashtag duh Cardinal of course I would love this and I love these little um, this so looks like my Buffalo check so super super and I have an idea for finishing on those um, so that will be exciting and then the last thing I decided to do is during I can't remember one of the boards but it was like a question of the day and it was like what is your oldest whip and I had to think because I have a bin that is nothing but whips like older whips and so of those I went through and I believe and I have the hair sticking up I apologize I just noticed that anyway I look like alfalfa there sorry um, so this is my oldest whip this is Mirabilia snow days I started this back in oh I'm getting a glare here we go I started this back in late 90s when I was married before so I was with my ex-husband when I started stitching this and I would say in looking at um, the progress on this I'm probably about a third of the way done I do not have, have I put beads on this it appears I have already started to bead some of this so apparently my style has changed because normally I don't put beads on until the very end so that's how much I have done and I made, went through um, and I still I only had a few of the beads so I still need to buy the water lilies that it calls for which are four colors of water lilies um, the Rainbow Gallery Arctic Rays I still need to buy I need to buy or repurchase because I don't know if I've used it um, the Krynik, um fine braid I still need to get and one of the petite glass beads I have everything else so my plan is to try to finish snow days in 2019 because I have all my flosses So, um, so that will be fun. And then um, I talked about having brunch with Lisa. And so she gave me a stitchy gift that I want to share with you. And then I have one purchase. Um, and it's an older purchase that I missed from last week that I wanted to show you before I let you all get back to your um, final prep uh, for Christmas. So um, so we exchanged gifts, Lisa and I, yesterday at brunch. And so when I opened my bag, the first item that was in it was, yum, a box of Godiva, Godiva chocolates. Jeff and McKenna both tried to claim these, and I said no. They're mommies. Don't touch my chocolate. Um, she also gave me this shepherd's bush um which is the christmas treat bag and i did not realize it but i already had this in my stash so i may try to destash it or maybe gift it um to a lucky viewer i'm getting close to 300 so once i hit 300 i am going to do a giveaway um so this might make the cut as a, as a viewer giveaway so, well, 
we'll have a 300 subscriber celebration. Um, so that will be fun. Um, maybe that'll happen in January. And then she also gifted me this um, fabric from Kaniki's Prims and Whims. And this is, and it's hard to see, there you go. It is a printed fabric that has the sheet music and lyrics to Santa Claus is Coming to Town. And then um, they, on their website, have a pattern for a like vintage old world Santa that can be stitched on this. And she wasn't sure if she bought the right count of fabric and I told her, I said, that's perfect because 36 count is my favorite to stitch on. So I'm really excited to have that. And then she also gifted me, last week when I showed all of my, um, my Raise the Roof wash line series, she said she wanted to reach through the, the video and kind of strangle me because she's like, she's not supposed to be buying that stuff before Christmas. She was afraid that I had bought this for myself. This was one of the ones that I had mentioned in my video that I still needed. And it is the Easter. So this is Peter Cotton's Knits. And not only is it the chart for that wash line for Easter, but it's the button pack as well from um, just another button company. Um, I'm so, I was so, so thrilled. She almost, her gift made me cry. Um, so Lisa, I love you. Um, you have been um, a blessing to my life this year. Um, I love having um, a local, you know, a friend locally who enjoys this hobby. Um, so I thank you, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I can't wait for all the um, fun that we're gonna have in 2019 with Guild and our spring retreat. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so um, just to close out, I want to thank all viewers, whether you're new or old, whether you've just recently found me or you've been watching me from the beginning when I started earlier this year. Um, your support, your viewership, um, it means the world to me. I'm humbled by it. I feel blessed by it. I feel um, I, I feel humbled um, by the community of Floss Tube and how welcoming it's been. Um, it's brought so many people and so many experiences to my life. And I only hope that the coming year will just bring and expand on that and bring more joy um, to not only my life, but to yours. Um, so um, I will end this video here and just wanna wish you um, the happiest of holidays. Um, and if you do celebrate Christmas, have a wonderful Merry Christmas with your family and your friends. And I will see you um, towards the end of next week um, to show you um, um, what I got for Christmas and to talk about New Year's resolutions and what I hope for the coming year. So until then, take care of yourself. Um, be kind to one another. Um, enjoy your family and your friends during this festive time. And um, to all of you, have a very, very, very Merry Christmas. Thanks so much and take care. Bye-bye.